Welcome back to the show on this Australia Day. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are an equal opportunity broadcaster and things are about to heat right Ooh, up. Yeah. Superstar Chris Hemsworth is the new global ambassador for Tourism Australia and we couldn't think of a better bloke to represent our great country. No way in the world. He is a hot enchilada, as they say in the classics. The brand new tourism ads featuring Chris will be unveiled today, but here is a sneak peek at the hotness. It's different down here. The air just has more life in it. And the light fills you up somehow. Australia isn't just a place you see. It's a place you feel. Oh, oh there is no mistaking that voice. He is a walking, talking advertisement for our country. But Chris, we just have one question for you, sir. Where the bloody hell are you? <laughs> Give Chris a big round of applause, everybody. Uh, I'm here in New York City. <laughs> As you can see, it's like a Christmas movie back here. There's the ice skating rink, there's plenty of snow. I think they had the, uh, the, the second worst blizzard in history here yesterday. So um, I've got to say, I'm, I'm missing Australia more than ever at the moment. Mate, oh. Bryant Park in New York City is a long way from Byron Bay. I mean, how's it been there the last couple of days? <laughs> Cold, to say the least, yeah. yeah. We, we literally got off the plane yesterday and, and just missed the blizzard. But as you can see, it was uh, the place is covered in snow and it's, it's, it's a pretty special uh, experience because we don't have a lot of this back home. But, yeah, from Byron Bay to here, I'd rather be back home. The distance is killing me. <laughs> and you are a very proud ambassador for Australia, Chris, uh, and following in a great tradition. You've got Paul Hogan, Lara Bingle, and now yourself. So what does it mean to be named Tourism Australia's Global Campaign Ambassador? Oh, it's wonderful. A huge honour. You know, uh, I feel uh, incredibly fortunate to have grown up in Australia and, and incredibly excited to be able to uh, to help, uh, you know, invite the rest of the world to our country uh, to experience the, the, the ocean and the, the aquatic experiences we have available. And, um, yeah, it's, it's a pretty special thing. It's something you're yeah, pretty hard to say no to. Seriously, though, Chris, why aren't you here in Parramatta with us? <laughs> <laughs> like, really? <laughs> I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. As soon as we're done with the snow, I'm coming straight to Parramatta. <laughs> Oh, that's what we like to hear. Few, we've got a few hot air balloons that you could probably take a ride in. Yeah, no you can take them out. Hey, yeah. it's a busy time for you too, brother. Um, you've got plenty Good. on. Good. What was that? You've got plenty on at the moment, haven't you? Uh, it's, it's been busy, yeah, yeah. We have a lot of uh, press for a film, The Huntsman, which comes out uh, in a couple of months. and. And sort of back and forth from you know Australia to, to this side of the world, but um, it's great, you know. It's, it's, it couldn't be happier to be able to have all the opportunities that have, have come my way. It's a bit of a dream, you know. Hey, Chris, so tell us exactly what's happening there today. It's a big uh, Tourism Australia event there. You've got Luke Mangan there to burn the sausages, apparently, and it, it's all going on there today, right? That's right, I might burn a few myself, jump on the barbie just to, you know, experience Australia Day properly. Um, but yeah, we're, we're launching, a, Australia Day's launch, uh, uh, the Australian Tourism's launching their new campaign and, um, and as I said, honoured to be a part of it and to be the face of it and uh, invite the world down under, basically, and, and with, with our, you know, ocean and aquatic experiences at the forefront, which hasn't been the case in the past. But, um, you know, I grew up surfing and spent, I feel like, most of my childhood in the water, so... I feel like I've got enough education on the subject to be able to, to, you know, invite people down. Well, Australia has loved you for a long time, Chris. I think you're very aware of that. But uh, your career has obviously taken you overseas on, on so many of the recent projects that you've done. But we love you even more for the fact that you choose now to make Australia home. You've got that place in Byron Bay. What do you miss about it when you have to travel? Uh, the people, you know, it's funny, I spent 10 years away and um, living in Los Angeles and it was great and, and, and I loved going there and working but my heart was always back home and, and I've got to say getting off the plane and hearing the accent and, and, and the, the warm wel welcoming you get is, is this pretty special thing and, um, you know, growing up in Victoria where the, you have the incredible raw, rugged, 
uh, ocean and sea is available and then you can go north and have you know big white sandy beaches and crystal clear water and just the diversity of our coastline I think is um, unlike anywhere in the world and, and so um, all of that is something that, that, that I miss immensely when I'm away. Hey, uh, we caught up with you at the AFL Grand Final. It was great to see uh, you and Liam and uh, the, the rest of the clan. You, you, I think your dad was there as well. It was a quintessentially Aussie day. How are you going to be able to catch up with you? any of your bros? Is Liam around? Liam's in LA at the moment. Uh, my brother's back at my place, uh, back in Australia. So we kind of <laughs> separated somewhat. But um, I'll see him soon enough, yeah. We had a big Christmas with... I think 20 of my family members, which, um, look, I love them dearly, but four weeks is long enough. So. <laughs> is, uh, is it true that there's a wedding in the offing there for Liam, Chris? Ooh. Oh, Ooh, Lisa. Lisa. Not that I know of, no. I, I, I saw the, uh, <laughs> the, the very got out reports yet. on right. that subject, as you know, so. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Chris, I reckon Not one sure of the coolest things you've done recently is. Understand. Okay, understand. tomato sauce, never rely on tomato <laughs> sauce. Barbecue is much better. Chris, I reckon it's very cool that you've uh, said That's you want right. to make the new Thor movie back in oh, Australia. Here we go. Back in Australia with a little help from Julie Bishop. Yeah. You're going to get to be able to drive to work making Thor on the Gold Coast. How cool is that? Great. Huh? Oh, it's a, that, that, that was the dream. I haven't worked back in Australia since I'm away, and, and I've got to say, I miss those days. And. Um, once, you know, there was a possibility of it shooting back there. I was sort of at the forefront of campaigning with Marvel and Disney and I said, you know, whatever I can do to help get it there, you let me know. And then Julie Bishop came and got involved and uh, it all took off. And, um, yeah, it's really, really exciting. I've got to say, it's, it's a pretty, pretty wonderful thing. Well, why wouldn't the foreign minister get involved with, with something, something like that was on your screen right now? I mean, I mean, that's what I'd be doing if I was a foreign minister, you big dish. <laughs> yeah, hello. Hey, buddy, um, have a great day today. Um, we love catching up with you. You're a great fellow. You're a great ambassador for this country. Yeah, and we're very, very proud of you, my man. And, uh, and best of luck to you and your family. Happy Australia Day, Chris. Yeah, thank you. Happy Australia Day. Thanks. Happy Australia Day.